Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we have a Marvel Legends figure. It's on the Spider-Man retro card and it's the Lizard. Let's check out the back of this box here. It shows you how to swap out the parts and stuff for those people that don't know if this is your first figure, maybe. But it's definitely not our first figure, so we know what to do with it. So, without any further ado, let's take this guy out the packaging and get a better look at him. Alright, so here we have him out the box. First impressions are really good on this, actually. Hasbro added a wash to it, finally. Like, there's a lot of these Spider-Man retro ones that they didn't add a wash to. Like the Shocker, like Green Goblin like other ones it's nice that they did it for me because i hate having to do extra stuff i will do it if it's necessary but there's some simple stuff that they should just be included especially with the added price point it's gone up a bit this figure was um i think it was like almost 30 dollars once shipped and everything was like 35 so those little details kind of they're important you know um also relating to that it's nice that they added a few different accessories, such as an extra head scope, which I'm actually more a fan of this head scope than the other one. I'll probably be displaying it with this. They also gave us extra set of hands, one for holding the beakers that he brings, and then another fisted hand. And then he does bring two beakers with like chemicals in them. So, you know, it's Dr. Connors and... He's always working on um, a cure, trying to grow his arm back. So this is, um, it suits the character. It's cool that they threw it in. Like I said, for the price point, we needed more stuff. Even more would have been better, right? So let's take a look at it actually with the other head scope and see how that looks. As I do think that I like this one better. Yeah, see, that looks a lot doper in my opinion. This is how I'm going to have it displayed for sure. I like that the tongue is out. Super cool looking. Love this. It's funny, a second ago before I hit the record button, there was a fly sitting right on the tip of his nose. And I tried to get it on film because it would have been funny. It just fits the character. But I guess the fly didn't want to be a part of this video. All right, so let's go over the articulation real quick. So he can look up that much. Pretty good. Looks down a whole bunch as well. That's pretty good. He has tilt to side. The neck has a pretty decent range of motion. He could do a full 360 if you want to, but what's the point? Unless he's possessed by whatever possessed Linda Blair, but you never know. I mean, he's a lizard. He might be able to do this, right? So he also has a chest crunch, which is a little hard to get to because of this lab coat, but... He has a chest crunch and a swivel, works pretty good, gives you good range. And he also has a, a kind of clicky abdomen joint, but it gives you really good range actually. And the swivel, no, the swivel's at the chest. So he can kick up this much. He has a double bend at the knee, gives you pretty good range there. I like that. Has a rocker at the foot. Has a hinge too. Works really, really well. The arm uh, could do a full 360. It can go up about that far. Has a double bend at the elbow. And we got a swivel at the wrist and a hinge as well. There's also a swivel at the high thigh there. So yeah, I mean, the articulation is actually really good on this figure. It's better than I thought it was going to be, um, which is good. You're going to be able to get them in some good poses against spider-man in fighting stances or you know take cool photos of that or just pose them really cool on your shelf you know i really like what they did with them like i said the only thing um obviously it'd be easier to po pose them if this was a soft goods cape but uh. so actually i had taken out the tail for the articulation portion just to make it easier to move around in my little space here but the tail is actually articulated as well you can bend it or have it like twist around a bit. It's more bendy towards the bottom here, it seems like. 
And yeah, I don't really want to force it up here. It feels like it could rip. But it feels like it's more here in this area. But you can get a couple of different poses out of it. So it's like to one side or to the other one. Or, you know, like kind of twist it up a little bit. So that's cool. It gives you a couple of options and then also helps you prop up the figure, which is pretty important actually, since a lot of tail figures have like extra weight on the back. So sometimes you got to use them to stand them up. So uh, final thoughts on this figure. I think it's actually really dope. Hasbro did a good job with the sculpt. They gave us two different head options and then they actually added a wash, which makes a huge difference. And a lot of the cases, it makes a huge difference. And yeah, I mean, they gave us a couple of beakers, which go with the character, you know, things that match the character and work well with them are important. Sometimes they give us like energy effects that don't match our character. And we're like, kind of like, throw this away. We don't even need it. Give us something we can use, you know, and this definitely is that. So kudos there, Hasbro. Good looking out. Um, I mean, I think it's going to look great on the shelf next to the rest of my retro figures. And yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So I don't do scores and stuff, but I give it my stamp of approval. You know, I mean, I think it's dope. Get out there and get it if you still can. It's a Walmart exclusive. So good luck there if you can find it in store or online. Uh, get out there and get it. So yeah, uh, that'll be it for this review. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Take care and peace.